Hey guys, KS12 Productions back here with another YouTube video. Um, today's video, I'm going to be moving all of these guys. Not not in the video, but I'm going to be going through a bunch of them. Um, and these guys, these are a bunch of my custom and uh, bought military guys into there. And then I will be going through like um, just like some of my custom guys that I made over the last few days. So that being like, um, since this is like Saturday right now, I made like a few guys on Friday and a few guys Thursday. And then... Um, I don't think I made any Wednesday, maybe like one or two, but I'm going to be going through my custom ones. And um, that's about it for this video. So the first one I have is a modern combat soldier. He's got a digital camo uh, shirt and pants and then dark tan um, arm gear, body gear. And then he's got a gunmetal AKGL. Uh, right here I got a PMC, private military contractor. He's got... Uh, He's got, if you look really close, he's, um, so he's got this really cool head that I found, actually. Okay, I don't, what am I doing? I can't hold this camera still. But basically, and also, it cannot focus. Um, well, I'm really sorry about this, guys. This is embarrassing. There we go. Um, but basically, he has... Uh, just your printing front, no back, and then he's got like boonie hat. He's got a M4 tack and then a microphone. Um, right here I've got another terrorist. This one actually is probably one of my favorites just because of his design I made. So he's got like the pouches on the shirt. He's got the digital camo legs, aka Pac. Um, he's got that cool head, and then he's got another helmet. So I think that combination worked really well. I like that guy a lot. This guy is a SWAT guy that I made. Uh, nothing too special about him. Obviously, he's just a normal SWAT guy. Uh, there's no printing, I believe. It's just black underneath, but um, I just wanted a cool shotgun or so. That's that. Um, okay, this guy's cool. This is another, another digital camo with a olive green balaclava uh, head. Basically, that's what that is. He's got a booty hat, and then a vest, and a backpack, and then an AKA pack. so that's that. Um, most of these are bad guys, by the way, too. This guy is just a uh, soldier. Not really sure. I mean, I found this cool shirt. I thought it could work. Um, I mean, it does look it does look pretty cool, honestly. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's that. And then, let's see. Okay, this guy I actually just made today. This is a, uh, I call him the, he's mostly gunmetal and gray, so he's got a gunmetal helmet, gunmetal AKA pocket, and then he's got this really cool dotted camo. Really love that, so uh, front and back also, by the way. That's that. Um, next thing we have is a, another one, except this one is actually a terrorist, so I guess, so that one was just a normal soldier, this one's going to be a terrorist, so. He's got that camo again, uh, same thing, kind of, I guess, and then just, uh, just different, um, thing over their head, so, that's that. And then, okay, this is really cool. I made two of these guys, uh, because I found these insanely cool heads, and I just want to show you them, so, here it is. Night. I call him, like, Night Ops, because he's, like, all black. He looks like he would be going on a mission in, in, like, pitch black. So, that's that. I made another terrorist here. Same shirt, uh, nothing too interesting. Uh, this guy's actually very interesting. Okay, he's pretty cool. He's got a SWAT vest, M4 tack, SWAT uh, hat, and then no printing, but uh, really cool gear. This guy is a custom, well, they're all custom, but this guy's a sniper. Um, also really cool, unique detail, because I gave him night vision. Uh, also, vest and such. So, um, the next one, okay, this is a cool one. I'm gonna grab this really quickly. This one right here is another SWAT figure. So I have, uh, this one's another shotgun also. So he's got some printing. Same printed legs, by the way, as this guy. So that's that. Um, next guy. Okay, this is the next guy. You guys are gonna like this guy. Here he is. Another uh, SWAT guy, I guess, with a gas mask. Um, this is not too realistic. It just looks sick. So that's what I did that. Um, um, so that's that. Uh, next guy right here is another soldier. So here he is. 
and then he's got that. So that's, uh, I'm just gonna go through these really quick. So I gotta go do something. So here's another sniper. Okay, next one. Here's just a custom random guy, ACA gun metal hel helmet stuff. Here's the other guy, um, nothing too cool. Okay, and then this guy, that guy's made with some Star Wars clothes, but yes. And then all these guys, these are all my Jurassic World figures, and I took off all the vests on them because when you actually put them on, they're kind of tall, like here, they're like thick, so they um they they seem taller Lego people than they actually are. So I took all those off, and I made all soldiers out of them. I put um, MCH break arms helmets and black boonie ha helmets hats on them. I made two Vietnam guys, um, really simple, super simple actually. A another German from my collection. Uh, made these all today too, by the way. And then today, I also made, just today, uh, I made six American soldiers. So let me try and find a few of them at least. Um, okay, it looks like, okay, it looks like I found them all, so. I made four of these new guys so that's that for those and then i have i made two mps so these are using the ghostbusters shirt but look at this it doesn't even matter because like basically it looks like a world war ii shirt because of the it has like their initials on the front but then it also has like the straps and then the belt and then on the sides there's nothing and then on the back there's that so oh yeah and the double side head i gotta change that Basically, that's it for that. Um, in here, I do have, I believe, some more custom guys. Well, maybe not, but I know I made this one today. Uh, nothing too special, just another SWAT guy. So, I think that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. Um, oh, yeah, last thing right here. Uh, this tank, I found a really cool olive green uh, browning machine gun, and it matched my tank, so I put it on there. So, that's that. I also will be getting another order soon. I'm going to be doing a huge order for Citizen Break coming up. I just don't know what to buy. There's so much stuff, and I don't have, like, too much money. Because if you know Citizen Break, their stuff is actually pretty expensive. But it's pretty cool, okay? I've bought Citizen Break before, and I've loved their products. So, um, so keep, a, keep an eye out for that video coming up, because it's going to be soon. Um, don't know exactly when it's going to be, but... Make sure to keep an eye out for it, guys. See you later. See you in the next video.